Cosby Show star Keisha Knight Pulliam is officially the first to be kicked off the 14th season of Celebrity Apprentice. Hi, I'm Cine Stars Brittany Umar, joined by Rodney Ho, radio and TV blogger for the Atlanta Journal Constitution. And you know, Rodney, the reason that Keisha was eventually fired off of this episode was because she really refused to contact Bill Cosby, of all people. This, of course, was months before the allegations against him surfaced. But did you find it interesting that she had to take the fall for not contacting him? It was interesting because she said she hadn't been in contact with him in a long time. She felt awkward about it. You know, if she was really conniving, she probably could have lied and said, oh, I got in contact and he didn't get back in touch with me. So it would have been a non-issue if she had simply, uh, you know, lied to Kenya. Because, you know, Kenya Moore uh, of Real Housewives fame is on the show. And she, you could tell that any flaw that the project manager has, she's going to go after them. You know, that, that was pretty obvious that, that that's Kenya's modus operandi. And she really helped take down Keisha. Because, you know, Trump even mentioned it right after he said, you're amazing, Keisha, but man, you should have called Bill. Sticking with reality TV, we also have to mention that American Idol is back, season 14. But it's been quite a while since they've developed a superstar, at least of what they used to create. So do you think they'll be able to again? Yeah, that's that's the big question. I mean, The Voice hasn't been able to do it. I, I don't think enough people are watching these shows anymore. It's awfully hard to create a superstar from it, I think, anymore. You know, the show is very much the same as it always been. I think they really are trying to hold on to the handful of people who are still watching at this point. Uh, but it's going to be tough. They, they got rid of the results show. Uh, they're, they're cutting back a number of episodes. Uh, it's going to be tough. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy the show, and I enjoyed watching the first three hours of the auditions. They don't do the Simon Cowell, uh, you know, you know, crazy, awful singers anymore. They don't really do that, but they haven't done that in ages. Let's just get away from reality TV for a second because there's a new show being shot in Atlanta that's actually not a reality show. It's starting, uh, starting on VH1 this Wednesday. It's called Hindsight. Fill us in on this one. It's interesting. Um, if you remember the movie Peggy Sue Got Married, it's, you know, a woman has some regrets. She goes back in time. She suddenly ends up in high school. In this case, it's a woman who's about to have a second marriage in 2015, and she has regrets. And suddenly, she, about her first marriage, and so she ends up in 1995 uh, with all the knowledge of her subsequent 20 years, giving her a chance to sort of do things over again. I think we all have that thought. It's like if we made one big mistake, wouldn't it be great to go back and change things the second time? So this is basically kind of a wish fulfillment show. And it's set in 1995, so you got the beepers and you got the clogs and you've got all the music from that era. So if, you, if you're of a certain age, I think it's a lot of fun and it's very light. Uh, you know, the, the producers said, you know, people on the cast thought it was kind of like Ally McBeal meets the edge of tomorrow. So it's, it's a little bit of an unusual uh, type of show. And 95 was a good year. Like uh, I spoke with Emily Fox created and she said the mid 90s was a great time for America. I mean, we were in the middle of the Clinton era, go-go era. Internet was just starting. It was a happy time. And it's kind of nice to go back to a time, you know, pre 9-11 when we were somewhat more innocent, so to speak. I'm wondering how many connections we'll see between that and Clueless. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I think that was the year Clueless came out, wasn't it? Exactly. I think it was right it's around then. So we'll have wow. to see. <laughs> Thanks so much, Rodney. We'll talk to you again soon.